Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about operators and we'll see how they interact with pointers. So applying operators such as these, uh, let me just go ahead and get to my keyboard. So you have like plus equals, minus equals, plus plus, oops, plus plus, min minus minus. So you have these operators and applying these operators on pointer variables is interp basically this is interpreted or is equivalent to the application on the ordinary on the ordinary variable. So it's pretty much the same, except we're doing them actually with pointers. So if you were to type something like this, for example, so P plus e ups plus equals two. So we have learned what plus equal means before. I have showed you that. But let's just go ahead and reiterate it one more time. So this expression is equivalent to this expression. So P is equal to uh, P plus two. Okay, so these two, these two expressions are exactly the same. This is just a shorter notation of the below expression. So P plus equals two or P equals P plus two do same things, except you're using a shorter notation here. Okay, now that we have reminded ourselves of that, let's have a look at what this means. So this will basically change the content of the pointer P, which now points to an element two places behind the member of the array to which it previously pointed. Uh, so this will, this is just gonna go, this is just gonna, this is just gonna move the pointer, so to say. So this is just, we're just gonna move the pointer. And then we can go ahead and change this plus into minus. So take a while to guess what is going to happen now. So this is basically going to change the content of the pointer P so that it now points uh, two spaces before the array element to which P was previously pointing to. So you're basically moving it uh, forwards or backwards within a 1D array, so to say. So just moving back and forth, and you're you're using the iteration by two. So you have jumped two spots ahead, or you have jumped two spots behind. Let's put it like that. You can also use something like this. You can type in p plus plus and use the standard iteration, which will increment uh, the pointer the ver the thing that the pointer is pointing to by one. So you will move forward in the array when in increments of one. So this will basically just uh, move forward by one. It's you, you can imagine that the same logic goes for minus minus. Uh, this will just iterate uh, backwards by one. Okay, so that's pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and go through a few examples and I'm gonna show you how you can utilize this, but let me just go ahead and point out once again that these expressions become undefined in case when the pointer P points to a place that does not contain array members or does not point to a place behind the last array member. Why this is so, don't ask. I mean, you can go out on the net and have a look around and you will find a lot of explanations, but Believe me when I tell you that it is not that important at this particular point in time. I will speak a little bit more about it, but believe me, it's not that important. There's a comp there, are, there are a series of complex explanations why that is so and how that functions, but believe me, it is not of, of importance when you're learning how to code. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna have an array of seven members, which we have up above. We have created it. Uh, these members will be of type double, let's say, or we can leave it as an, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna type in double here. And we want to basically, we're gonna play around with that array to an ex, we, we want to actually write that array out. So we just want to print it out onto the screen. I'm going to go ahead and delete, delete a few things here. So I'm not going to need this, and I'm most likely not going to need this part, so I'm going to delete those two. 
and then I'm going to start writing my code here. So if the array is of type double, if the elements of the array are of type double, we're going to need to have a pointer which is also of type double, otherwise this will not work. So if I type in double and then asterisk p, uh, if you see somewhere that somebody's using PTR, this is also a standard note. This, well, I can't say standard, but this is uh, something that people often use to denote a pointer, so PTR. And I don't know, then they would type in PTR and then they would add some sort of a name here, which would uh, usually help out in differentiating between pointers and knowing what point what certain pointers are pointing to. Okay, so anyway, we're just going to use P here and say equals, and we're going to say that this equals to A. So we are assigning the address of the first array member to pointer P. This is basically the equivalent of me writing what I've written in the previous tutorial. So something like this. Uh, Okay, so what I just wrote is the equivalent of this. So if I just type in A here, which would be a shorter notation, this is basically the same. Okay, fantastic. Well, let's move on. So if I create a, I'm going to go ahead and create a for loop to iterate through the array. So I'm just going to have an iterator here, or an index. Okay, so this is going to be 0 and i is going to be less than 7. And then we're going to go i plus plus. OK. Let's open up the curly brackets. And we're going to need the std out. So I'll, I'm, I'm very lazy. You wouldn't believe how lazy I am. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this here. And this will basically give us a printout of the array. Do I want the next line? No, I don't really want the next line. I'm perfectly fine uh, without going with the next line. However, I deleted the space which I actually wanted to have. So I'm just going to leave the space there. And I will also delete the last line here, so I'm not going to need it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at this, and I will run and compile. Wrong. Uh, this also needs to change because it's going to keep on printing the same element over and over and over again. Why? Well, this is not iterating. The pointer is continuously pointing to the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and iterate it as well with each iteration of the for loop. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to build and run. And there you go, it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there you go, end of story, it got printed out, no problems. Okay, uh, I bid you farewell here, or I am going to bid you farewell here, and then we shall see each other in the follow-up tutorial where we're going to continue to dwell on this subject.